Well, let's set up the robot device in Multimedia Logic. That's this fellow over here. I click on him, and I'll put him there. I'm also going to need the um, bitmap. Where is the bitmap over here? That's it. Click here. Wonderful. I also need the really need a switch. It'll be here. And I need the select device. And I need this oscillator. Okay, wonderful. Now, I'm going to move these up and close together. So I'm going to enlarge this in a moment. And that might get messy. All right. Let's see what we can do. Here we go. I'm going to want to enlarge this now. Oh, that got messy. Move this up. There we go. Now I'm going to click on the wire tool and I'm going to connect. Oh, I can't do that yet. First thing I have to do is change this robot device. Right click on them, properties, and I go to drawing. And I'm going to click where it says file name and I'm going to browse and choose car zero and open. Now I'm ready. Drawing, car zero, OK. Now, I right-click on this fellow here. Oh, that's going to get messy if I do that now. I'll do that afterwards. So let me wire these guys up now. I'm going to connect up the switch to P for the pen. The oscillator, I'm going to connect that up to here at the very bottom. I'm going to take pin 0 and connect up to pin 0 on the first group of, of 2 at the bottom. Now I'm going to click on 0 again, connect it to the next 0 up here. Then I'm going to connect 1 on the select device to 1 down here, and I'm going to connect 1 to 1 up here again. And then I'm going to connect 2 to 2. I won't connect up 3 yet. It's sort of a special kind of a function, a functionality built into that. And I'll show you later. Okay, so next, click back on my arrow, and I want to change this back to hmm, back to zoom out mode. And I'm going to right click on this Go to Properties, and I'm going to change this to Browse, and Colors, and Open. And I'm going to make it click on Robot Playground, and OK. Beautiful. We're all set now. Except it's a little bit too far over to the right. There we go. That's a little bit better. Let me get the palette out of the way. And um, I'm ready. Let's run this program. See what happens. Oh, the car just ran right off the from the center, ran right over to here. Do that again. Watch the center of that pallet. Oh, it ran right over. That's way too fast. I gotta slow that down. What about drawing? I couldn't turn on the drawing. Oh well, what am I gonna do? Oh, I know what I'll do. I'm gonna right click on this this switch, go to properties, and I'm going to set the initial state to on. Click on OK. There we go. Now I'm going to run this program. Oh, see how it ran all the way over to here? But I have the direction guy over here. I'm going to click on go backwards, and oh, he just went backwards. And <laughs> you see, he drew a line. I'm going to click on go down, and he just drew a line going down. I'll click on going up, and he goes up. Go to the right, he goes to the right. I, hard to control him because it's so fast, I can't stop halfway through. This is problematic. I'm going to have to stop the program and make some changes. I'm going to right click on this guy here and properties. Here's my oscillator. I'm going to change the low cycles 
two five zero 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 five hundred thousand and okay now watch what happens I run the program oh see how slow he's going I can shut this guy off no more pen turn him on pen wow what do you know let me go backwards now pen is on so that vacant area should be drawn over. Yes, it is. Let me see if I can make them go down. Oh, I can make them go down. And uh, go back up. Go to the right. And let's make them go up. Oh, my goodness. We are good. Let's make them go to the right. Make them go down. We are too good. Make them go left. Unbelievable. Let's take the shut the pen off. Make them go up and to the right. Amazing. Oh, let's turn the pen on. I like that pen. And there it is. It starts turning on. Just amazing. And he stops. And let's stop this now, this program. Let's add on one more feature over here. I didn't connect up pin 3 to the other pin. Hmm. That's a funny feature that gets thrown in here. Uh, let's do that now. It's a little bit hard to see because it's so small. So I'm going to blow this up a bit. Whoa, that blew that up a lot. I'm going to connect up pin 3 to pin 3. Let's see what happens now. Back down to small mode and uh, run the program. And it's drawing. And let's make them. I'm going to hold this down and. Oh, look, the car is going sideways <laughs> without turning. <laughs> oh, now he's going down in that funny way. Now he's going to the right that funny way. That's pin three. You can double click and sort of get your way out of that again. See, now it's in regular mode. But do you like double click and, or hold it down? Yeah, hold it down. Oh. Every time I click, it just sends him in a different direction. But he's not changing the direction of the car, so it looks like he's sort of floating. Rather cute, I think. All right, let me stop this. And did we cover just about everything? Yeah, we can talk about changing colors next time in the next lesson. Yeah, we can change colors. We'll do that next time and a couple of other neat things. Well, thanks so much for listening. This is uh, Logically Yours, G-Bull.